from all the categories we have watched, I just want to know if you already have your own list of top five. Well, I also have mine. Well, I'm just hoping that your top five is matching with our judges' decision. Your question is, what challenges do you believe the LGBTQ plus community still faces and how can we address them? Well, you know what, my dear friends, before I answer that question, let me go ahead and tell the quotation that says, we should always stand up from what you believe in, even if it means it's standing along. The LGBTQ community has suffered so much that we have faced so much challenges throughout history. We are being discriminated, prejudiced, marginalized because of the sexuality that we choose from. But still, despite of all the challenges that we are still facing, we still keep ourselves motivated. We still keep ourselves optimistic for I know someday, somehow, people will learn how to embrace and accept us. Not just because of what's within your legs, but because we are all brothers and sisters. We are, in fact, masterpieces of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, if we people are able to embrace each other, if we people are able to respect each other, then we can definitely create an environment when there is no negativity. There is only love and acceptance. It is only by recognizing and celebrating the diversity of sexual orientation we are able to break free from the limitations of what we call ignorance. That we people should always work hand in hand. That we people should learn how to respect, how to respect each other because after all, we are all created by God. Well, in fact, we are all masterpieces of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we should all, it is still the size of your heart and the strength of your character. Because as an individual, we should always make ourselves how, how we're able to utilize each other, how we're able to team up and to what we call to have unity. Unity on having the same goal, same action, and most especially, same purpose. It is simply by doing things that is not just meaningful, but doing things that is impactful for the sake of the humanity. Dakal pong salamat. Your question is, what initiatives or projects are you currently working on to support LGBTQ plus individuals? Maraming salamat sa mga gantong uri ng katanungan tulad ng aking natura na is kong linawi na ang kasagutan na ang tunay na kasagutan ay hindi nanggagaling dito bagkus nanggagaling sa ating kabusilakan ng ating puso. Ang katanungan po ay ano ang ah, maaaring ibigay kong proyekto para sa mga nasasakop ng LGBTQ community. Tulad ng aking naturan kanina, napakahirap mag, 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 makapasa ng isang proyekto, lalo na kung ito ay parte ng LGBTQ community. Sapagkat ang batas, hindi magiging batas kung hindi ito na idadaan sa saligang batas. Nais kong linawin sa inyo na mula sa artikulo labing apat ng um, Republika ng Pilipinas sa panibagong konstitusyon ng isang libo siyam naraan at walong putpito. Ito ay hustisya at karapatang pantao para sa lahat. Isa sa mga proyekto kong maibibigay sa kanila na kailanman bawal ang bastos dito sa Pilipinas. Dahil hindi natin maitatatwa ang katotohanan, anumang karangalan ang meron ka, anumang kasuotan ang iharap mo sa kanila, kung hindi kanila kayang respetuhin bilang ikaw, hindi kanila re-respetuhin bilang isang tao. Lagi nating itatuwa sa ating utak na kung ano man ang ipinapakita mo, hindi yan ibabalik sa'yo. 
Pero kung aayusin natin ang proyektong ito, maraming parte ng LGBT at miyembro ng LGBT ang makikinabang dito. Dahil tulad nga po ng sinabi ng aking maestro o ng aking profesor nung ako'y nasa kolehiyo pa, Solus Populis S. Supremalex that the worthy of all the people is always in the golden heart. Lagi nating si iisipin na ang if gay should be a, given a chance to be the harbinger of hope, it will be climbed for the pinnacle of success dahil kailanman hindi natin maitatatwa kung ano ang kasarian, yun ang proyektong para sa kanila. Magandang gabi. Your question is, what advice would you give to young LGBTQ plus individuals who may be struggling with self-acceptance? The question, of course, is very personal. And I don't want to make um, anything which is sugarcoating. So I'll go with the very personal answer, of course. Self-esteem can be molded in the very first stand at home. If your parents definitely have molded you to be someone who is confident, then regardless of what the people will say, it's a different idea of me. I know every one of you most because I've been in the pageant for almost um, 38 years. I started when I was 13. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not good in numbers. Tatay ko, sundalo, ayaw. He doesn't want. Um, nasa langit na siya, pero it's okay. Sabi niya, lagi akong naano. Mas malala. Because in year 1970s, 1975 ako pinanganak, kapag nakakita ng bakla, baliw, wala kang kwenta. Nakakadiri ka. It was a mental and psychological disorder. So from that very fact, I know may tawag sa amin dyan noong unang panahon, closet, ayaw lumabas sa katotohanan. The very fact itself that you breathe, the very fact itself, dear young rainbow community member, the very fact itself that you got and fortunate enough, di ka pinalaglag, one thing. You have to be gratitude and gratify and be grateful. Be thankful and everything. Harapan nyo ngayon eh, paulit-ulit nga eh. Lagi nga eh, nababash ako eh. Yan lagi sinasabi, itong kwento ng buhay ko, kaya paulit-ulit akong sumasampas sa entablado. Wala akong pakialam kung may mas bata, mas maganda, mas... Hindi yun eh. Hindi nyo madidiktahan ang puso. Di ba't maraming nababaliw na matatalino dahil sa pag-ibig? Ito ang pag-ibig ko. Ang pag-akyat sa entablado. So, I don't mind or I don't care. Little child of the rainbow, bakla ka man tomboy, wala! Ang pinakamahalaga ngayon, one thing is for sure, kapag may bakla o anak ang tomboy sa loob ng iyong pamilya, maniwala ka, magjojoway ka. Pero kailanman hindi iiwan ng mga magulang at mananatili sa loob ng kanilang tahanan. And here, standing in front of you, paulit-ulit kong sinasabi because this is an inspirational story. I'm not here to brag nor to drag that I am the best. No, I'm not the best. Sabi ng tape ko, wala kang patutunguhan. Pero walo sa mga kapatid ko dahil labing isa kami at pangalawa ko sa panganay, nagtapos sa kolehiyo dahil sa kakaakyat panaog ko sa entabladong ito. Nalalatay lagi noon. Kaya lagi ako sinasabi, ang dami niyang poknat, kaya ako nagbabody makeup. Pero hindi po pangit ang balat ko. Because you're on the top of the stage. There are a lot better than the judges. Mas mapanghusga ang tao ngayon. Mas malala, mas masakit, mas madudurog ka. Parang kaya karayong na tinutusok ang mata mo pa isa-isa. No! You have to be steadfast. Aking mahal na batang bakla o tomboy ka man. You don't have to go with that. Be proud. If you are an LGBTQIA plus member, ano dapat ipagmalaki mo at hindi ka dapat ipag-behind o hindi ka dapat magtago? Isa ka ngayong ginto na kailan may bihirang matagpuan sa mundo. So at the end of the day, I'd like to educate everyone that pageant like this is not only about the prices. Hindi naman kami mapagtitipon-tipon ka agad dito dahil lamang sa inyong mga premyo. We came here because it's our compassion. We love what we do. We love to steal the hearts of everyone. It's not about winning. After all, the crown is not only for somebody who will become popular. It's not fame. It's about what you will leave, a legacy. Stand up, young children! Huwag kang mawalan ng pag-asa. Unang-una sa lahat, magkakaiba 
ang buhay ng tao, hindi mo kailangan ikumpara dahil para tayong pahina ng libro, magkakaibang kabanata, kaya't dapat maging kampante ka at confident sa buhay mo. Thank you! Your question is, in your opinion, what role does education play in promoting inclusivity and acceptance for LGBTQ plus community? So it's all about education again. So in your opinion, what role does education play in promoting inclusivity and acceptance for the LGBTQ community? Let me go straight to the point. I must say that education is very important. Why? Because through education, we can let people know who we really are. Kung ano at sino ang miyembro ng LGBTQ community. At sa pamamagitan ng edukasyon, maipapamalas namin sa bawat isa kung ano ang aming halaga dito sa mundong ating ginagalawan. When we say inclusivity, that means giving equal opportunity or access to every individual, especially those who are in LGBTQ community. And now, I should say that education is very important and we must educate ourselves. And we must educate everyone about the importance of our role. Yes. Palagi na lang namin sinasabi na we are being judged, we are being discriminated, but that is the truth. That is the reality. Isang katotohanan na kailanman hindi natin mabubura. At sana dumating ang araw people will open their heart and their mind and they will accept us that we, members of LGBTQ community, are also creations of God and we are here to stay. And remember this, we should not mark a person by his gender, but rather by his ability and through the goodness of his heart. Thank you so much. Your question is, how do you see the future of LGBTQ plus rights evolving and what milestone would you like to see achieved? Actually, we are all experiencing something different now in our community because um, it's very, it's very uh, rampant that we experience um, Filipino mentality or also known as crab mentality, which is very sad. But then again, I think every single small steps is actually a big step. So now that the Soja Bill is in the Senate and in the Congress. So I think that is already a big step. And what do I see? How do I see my community after all of these steps? Then I think we will be all united as one. And I think that is the essence of the LGBT community. Yung pagkakaisa at hindi pagkakawatak-watak ng aming mga paniniwala o diferensya sa aming pagkatao. Dahil at the end of the day, bakla, tomboy, o kahit ano pa po ang inyong kasarian, pare-pareho lang tayong tao. At sa huli, huhusgahan tayo ng lumikha Hindi sa kung ano ang ating kasarian, pero kung ano ang nagawa nating makabuluhan sa ating buhay. Bakal pong salamat. Thank you so much, candidate number two, Ms. Yuki Ito. Congratulations. Well, our Miss Transmits of the Night is... Candidate number one, Kay Montero.
Team 2023 Title Holder is... Once again, in this game, it is 2023 Battle of the Green Fans. Runner up is candidate number two. <laughs> Our next goal is known as 2023 Battle of the Queen. Title holder is candidate number seven. Watching Miss Gay Anuna's Battle of the Peace 2023, and I am with our Miss Transmits of the Night, Kay Montero. Well, congratulations and happy birthday! Thank you so much, and thank you for all the people who keeps on supporting me. Thank you. Well, how are you feeling? I mean, did you expect that you will be our Miss Transmits of the Night? Well, I am feeling ecstatic, happy, and very much overwhelmed. And honestly, I am thankful, but I am really not expecting to be uh, your trans fans for, for tonight. But I'm really grateful. Well, how old are you now? I am 22. Oh, just 22? You're so young. Okay. Well, congratulations. Happy birthday. And can you invite our trans fans to like our, our trans fans page? Yes, hi for all uh, pageant enthusiasts out there and all uh, pageant fanatics. All you have to do is to click the like button for trans fans and that way you'll be updated for every pageant. Well, our best of the night and the birthday girl, Kay Montero. Thank you, everyone. And our Miss Gay Anunas 2023 Battle of the Queens is Matrica May Centino. <laughs> Well, I hope it's me. Well, it's you. You are our queen tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's again another battle, another challenge. And uh, I just love that every pageant is different. And uh, just like what the mission and vision of the trans fans is definitely to educate and to spread love instead of hate. Well, definitely. That's really what we are really promoting to everyone. So my question for you is, what are the disciplines that you are imposing every time that you're joining pageants? Um, it's always um, to know that the reason behind why we are joining is because it's our passion. The empathy for the other people to be able to be the voice of the unheard. It may sound cliche, but that's the truth. Wow. Again and again, we're here again. Well, congratulations, Matrika you Mason so Tino. You're the crown keeper again. Our Miss Gay Anuna's 2023 Battle of the Queens is Matrika Mason Tino. Thank you so much. And um, to all the transgender community and the rainbow community, make it a habit. Share the live, click it always, and love trans fans. Well, we love you, Nay. We love, we you, love you. you. Thank, Thank you, so Anuna's. Salamat. Celebration, congratulations to all the winners of Miss Gay Anunas 2023 Battle of the Queens here at Barangay Anunas. 
ang La City, Pampanga. Well, I am your host, Stacey Duarte. I hope you had fun tonight. It's just early. It's just 12.30, so have a good night, everyone.